so I wanted to talk to you about the state of Ohio, my home state. Um, Hillary Clinton has said that um, she's running an aggressive ground campaign here. What are you and your campaign doing to make sure that you win in Ohio? Well, as you know, she's very anti-job. She's very anti-manufacturing. Her husband signed NAFTA, which is probably the worst trade deal signed uh, maybe in the history of the world, let alone this country. You look at Ohio and you look at neighboring states, look at New England and Pennsylvania, it's, it, they've been emptied out. Uh, you're manufacturing here, you're manufacturing jobs have moved to Mexico and lots of other places. And uh, it's absolutely out of control. She will be a disaster. Plus, she wants to put the coal miners out of business. She wants to put the steel workers out of business. So I don't know how she can do well in Ohio. I mean, she wants to put everybody out of business. and. I guess she's catering to a certain group, maybe an environmental group. Nobody even knows what's happening. Uh, as you know, uh, a few months ago, she talked about the coal miners, that she's going to put the mines and the coal miners out of business. And then she went to West Virginia, and she got just clobbered. And I think that's going to happen here. I think that's going to happen here. She's very anti-job and anti-manufacturing. The upcoming debates, some are scheduled to go against NFL games, and you have suggested that that was rigged um, by the Clinton campaign. Uh, do you intend to try to renegotiate some dates, maybe? And do you think that could even happen? Well, I'd like to have a large, very large body of people watching the debates. And we're up against two very important NFL games. Uh, the people in the NFL know all about this. And frankly, uh, I, they're not thrilled either, I don't imagine. Uh, but we're against uh, two very important games. And I think the people should be able to see. She did the same thing. Now, who knows? You know, a lot of people say this was before uh, she would have really been involved. But it was always anticipated that she'd win. Then she ran into Bernie Sanders. But I guess it was September of last year that they made these decisions. I'm not sure about the decision as to timing. But I would like to see a large audience. I'd like to see a record-setting audience. I think that's what it will be. But I'm not sure, and I don't think you should be up against two big NFL games. OK. What is your position on um, the Syrian refugees? And with regard to immigration, um, what is your plan to reform immigration? Well, Hillary Clinton wants to let Syrian refugees flow into this country. Now, you see what's happened in Orlando and Nice, France, and, and France generally. Look what's going on over there. It's, it's a disaster. You see San Bernardino. I mean, you see the World Trade Center. You take a look at what's going on. And she wants to allow 550% more to come into this country than Obama's currently doing. And he's letting thousands and thousands and thousands come in. People don't even know where they're being put. You know, they're moving them to different parts of the country, and most people don't even know where they're going. Uh, no, I will end that in its entirety. We have enough problems in this country. And I know it's not nice from a political standpoint, but or a politically correct standpoint, certainly. But I will end that in its entirety. Uh, and we're not going to let them come in. We have too many problems in our country. We don't know who these people are. They're not properly vetted. There's no paperwork. Law enforcement officials have told me that there's no way, absolutely no way, of really finding out who they are. So we're going to end it. And she wants to bring in more, and I'll bring in none. Now, we're going to build safe havens over in Syria. We'll get others to pay for them, because this country owes $19 trillion right now. So we're not going to be paying for them. But we're going to get other countries to pay, the Gulf states, which have plenty of money, and they're not doing much. They're going to pay, so I want to take care of people, but we don't want them in this country until, certainly until we find out what's happening. If you become president, what will you do to make America safe? Well, I'll start with exactly your last questions. I mean, we're not going to let the Syrians come in with, you know, no documentation. Again, we don't know who they are, and you look at the violence that's been caused in other locations, and we're just not going to let it happen. Uh, and other terror states, you have many other terror states, and we're just not going to let them come in unless they're very, very, very extremely vetted. And we'll make exceptions, I guess, if a head of a country comes in or something. But we're not going to let them come in. And the people of Ohio like that. I mean, I'm up in the polls in Ohio. And one of the things I don't like about her is she wants to increase it by so much. She wants to have tens of thousands more come in than even Obama is allowing, which is absolutely crazy. And the other is we're just going to have very strong borders. We're going to have extremely strong borders. Our southern border drugs are pouring in. We're going to build the wall. Mexico is going to pay for the wall. And the reason they're going to pay is because they make a fortune. You look at our trade imbalance with Mexico. It's massive. Mexico is going to pay for the wall. But we're going to have a wall that's going to stop the drugs from coming in. And it's going to stop some people that we don't want in this country from coming in. And we'll be able to work with Mexico. And we'll tell Mexico, listen, we don't want to have, when you look at all the violence that's been caused, whether it's in San Francisco or in Los, Los Angeles, I mean, look at what's going on. You have Kate Steinle. 
you have uh, Jamil Shaw, you have so much murder, killing, uh, and just destruction. So we're going to have it right. People, I want people to come into the country, but they have to come in legally through a process. And recent national polls have shown you running a bit behind Clinton, but yet other polls show that 70% of Americans do not trust her. So how is that? Well, I think we're going to do very well. Uh, one just came out a little while ago. The Los Angeles Times came up where I'm up four or five points. Uh, it's probably a close race. I don't know why it would be a close race. She's going to be horrible for jobs, and she's going to be horrible for safety and security. And you look at her past record with Benghazi and all of the mistakes she's made. Remember the famous uh, 3 o'clock in the morning phone call? Guess what? She was sleeping. So, uh, you know, you just look at what's going on, and you look at the, the trauma that the country's going through. And I don't think anybody wants four more years of Obama, and that's what you're going to get, and maybe even worse. But they don't want four more years of Obama. Uh, and jobs, it's about jobs. It's about the economy. Uh, Mexico's not going to be taking our jobs out of Ohio anymore. They're not going to be taking our jobs out of other states and other places aside from Mexico. We're going to be very strong and very smart. Mr. Trump, thank you for the thank opportunity. You. Thank the you. Opportunity. Thank you very much.